In this video, we will go through 11 essential steps to help you optimize your WhatsApp privacy setting. Let's get started. Step 1. Hide your online status. WhatsApp by default show your online status to all your contacts. This can be a privacy concern as it reveals when you are active on the app. To hide your online status, you can open your WhatsApp app on your iPhone. Then you can go to the setting or to WhatsApp setting. After that, you can select privacy. On the privacy setting, you can tap on last seen and online. From there, you can select nobody. After you select nobody, all of your contacts cannot see your online status. Step 2. You can also control who can see your profile picture. By default, anyone who has your phone number can see your WhatsApp profile picture. If you want to limit who can see your picture, you can go to WhatsApp setting. After that, you can select privacy. From there, you can tap on profile photo. From there, you can select contact or nobody. When you select nobody, all of your contact cannot see your profile picture. Step 3. Manage who can message you. WhatsApp allow anyone who has your phone number to message you. However, you can limit who can message you by going to WhatsApp setting and then select privacy. Then you can select group. On the group setting, you can select my contact or my contact accept. Then you can select the contact who cannot give you or send you a message. This way, only people you have saved in your contact can message you. Step 4. Disable read receipt. WhatsApp send read receipt by default, which let other users to know when you have read their messages. If you want to disable read receipt, you can go to WhatsApp setting and then select privacy and then you can tap on read receipt and turn it off. If you turn off read receipt option, you won't be able to see read receipt from other people. Read receipt are always sent for group chats. Step 5. Limit who can add you to the group. By default, Anyone who has your phone number can add you to WhatsApp group. If you want to limit who can add you to the group, you can go to WhatsApp setting and then select privacy. Then you can select group. From there, you can select my contact or my contact accept. This way, only people you have saved in your contact can add you to the group. Step 6. Block unwanted contact. If you want to block someone on WhatsApp, it's really simple. You can go to their chat and tap their name at the top of the screen. Then you can scroll down and you can find the block here. Tap on it and if you want to block, you can confirm by tap block once again. You can also block contact from the setting menu by going to the WhatsApp setting menu. From there, you can tap on privacy. On the privacy setting, you can scroll down and you can see the block menu here. If you tap on this, you can see the list of your contact that you already blocked. If you want to add new contact that you want to block, you can tap add new here. Then you can select the contact that you want to block. Step 7. Secure your account with two-step verification. Two-step verification adds an extra layer of security to your WhatsApp account. To set it up, 
you can go to setting and then select account on the account setting you can tap on two-step verification and then you can turn it on then you can enter a six digit pin and then your email address to confirm this way even if someone else get hold of your phone number they won't be able to access your whatsapp account without the pin step 8 hide your about info by default anyone who has your phone number can see your whatsapp about info which can include personal details such as your job title or location if you want to limit who can see your about info you can go to whatsapp setting after that you can select privacy then you can tap on about and you can select my contact or nobody step 9 disable cloud backup for added security whatsapp allow you to backup your chat to cloud services such as icloud or google drive but this can pose a security risk if your backup is not properly secure if you want to disable cloud backup for added security you can go to whatsapp setting and then select chats then on the chat setting you can tap on chat backup and then you can toggle off auto backup here then if you toggle off it means you already disable backup step 10 enable fetch or touch id for extra protection you can enable face id or touch id to lock your whatsapp account for extra protection to set it up you can go to whatsapp setting and then select privacy you can scroll down until you find the screen lock you can tap on this and you can toggle it on requires face id if you want to enable it you can also choose how long the app should wait before prompting for authentication like after one minute after 15 minutes after one hour or immediately this way even if someone else get hold of your phone they won't be able to access your whatsapp account without your biometric authentication step 11 turn off live location sharing whatsapp allow you to share your live location with others which can be a useful feature for letting friends and family know your whereabouts however if you don't want to share your location go to your whatsapp setting and then select privacy from there you can see live location option just tap on this and then if you see the list of chat that you already sent your live location you want to disable it you can tap on stop sharing and then you can confirm it once again then after that the list that you already share your live location is already disabled that's it for our guide on mastering whatsapp privacy setting on iphone user by following this 11 essential step you can ensure maximum security and privacy while using whatsapp i hope this video helpful for you and let us know in the comment section if you have any other tips and or tricks for optimizing your whatsapp privacy setting thank you for watching and see you again on the next video bye